Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. Time for another Tea Dottles tidbits. Um, and this one we're going to be talking about some whips and uh, FOs. So, first, I would like to say welcome new subscribers. Welcome back, subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me in my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things and the DIY things. So you will see a little bit of all of that here. I do consider this a maker channel, so if you like to make things, you may like it here. Um, yes, I got my hair cut, and no, I don't like it. <laughs> I liked it more yesterday. I actually got it cut Friday instead of Thursday. She had to change my appointment. And we discussed it, you know, I've been going to this hairdresser for a long time. She's an excellent hairdresser. This is not, this is my fault for thinking I liked something and then getting home and realized I didn't like it very much. I feel like I look like a page boy. I'm not enjoying it. Okay, I was going for a bob. Definitely had to get it off the back of my neck. I'm not digging this. Um, no, because number one, when I went to her, I had washed my hair the day before in anticipation of going. So I had had a day where it didn't have a wash and she went ahead to cut it because I hadn't styled it or anything or put any product in it. And then um, she flat ironed it, okay? So it looked more, seemed to have more movement. It seems very stiff to me now. After I washed it yesterday and let it air dry, I was like, because it puffed, okay? If I don't flat iron it, which I have, and you can still see some puff, puff, I don't know what my dog's doing over there. He's huffing, up, puffing about something. I think he's mad because I wouldn't throw his toy for him. But anyway, <laughs> he thought, he thought when I got up and went and got my coffee, I was refusing to play with him, but I was not. I was getting ready to do my video. Anyway, enough about my hair. I, I, I'm probably going back to get this. Yeah, I just. I don't, I'm not enjoying it, so. Anywho, it is what it is, it's just hair. So, I'm having me a cup, uh, what is it? It's almost two o'clock, I think, on a Sunday. Hit me with your best pot. I love a good pun, especially a food pun. Um, I was supposed to do this Friday, but I went to visit, I had to go get a haircut, and I went to visit family to have supper with them and then yesterday I was working on getting some bags in the shop uh, so I didn't get a chance to record so but we're here today now so I'm gonna start off with some of my recent now they're all crocheted that are yarn related uh, finishes um, funny thing I was watching a video while I was washing dishes the other day and my husband came in and it had a little header before the video and it said whips and UFOs. He's like, did that just say whips and UFOs? I said, yeah, it did. He's like, okay. And I said, I had to tell him, you know, that means works in progress and unfinished objects. He's like, oh. <laughs> he was confused. Not familiar with the lingo, certainly. So, um, you know, I keep doing this because. Let me leave it alone. It's not. It's not gonna have. It's not gonna fix itself anytime soon, right? Okay. So um. Yeah, let's start with my FOs as far as crochet. Um, I did realize that they had a. Uh, this these are all from uh, Underground Crafter, and I think it's it's some other crochet bloggers. Um, they're doing a scrubby along. And I was about. It's a little bit behind, but I've, I'm caught up now. I've done, the, what is it, one, two, three, four, four, four weeks worth, okay? Um, and what it is is just little uh, dishcloth scrubby patterns to do. I think it happens once a week on Thursdays. Um, I'll have a link down below. But um, I was going to show you these. I worked through a whole, this is Knit Picks. Dishy is what it's called. I caught this on some clearance a while back on Knit Picks. And this is Conk. Conk. So it's called C O N C H. You know, like a conch shell. So this is the, this one's a hand scrubby. I really like the texture in this one. 
and the little basket weave it's got going on which is actually just achieved with the front and back of crochet double crochet front and back post double crochet is what I'm saying so yeah what I figured I'd do is make some of these make them each week and see which ones I like the most and then do some some for Christmas gifts um, I like this one. It's a little short on my hand, but I, do, I don't know if you really need it to cover your whole hand. I don't know. Um, it would be good for a bath scrubby, I think. Or it's got a lot of texture. I think it'd probably be good for dishwashing, too. So there's the first one. And the second one was this little guy, which is very small. And I do like all the texture in it and stuff, but, ooh, man. These little things here, we're paying the patukas to do. Um, I think that these would be better as face cloths because they're so small. But this particular yarn, I don't think would be great for that. Um, I have some more, it's a sport weight um, Knit Picks Comfy Cotton. It's got a little bit of acrylic in it and it's softer. So I may do those, and it may be easier to do these little bumps with those. I don't know, but I do like the way it looks. It just, it took a long time to make this little square, it seems. Um, so now this one is my favorite so far. Um, this was what I made. It's, look at, it was a very interesting uh, crochet technique or was it a I guess it is a stitch that I've never done before but uh, I love the way it looks so I really like this one it wasn't hard to do it does use up quite a bit of yarn as you can imagine because it's so dense but it's thick and then you have this nice border um, so I really enjoyed this one and I had just a little bit of that yarn left so I made me a little one with a little hanger just repeated a portion of the <laughs> the uh, pattern. So I have um, used up that whole skein of the dishy from Knit Picks. I have uh, two gray ones. I think I may have some other ones, but I did use that up with that. So then the last one was this. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is the pattern. Um, this was an interesting pattern. I liked it. It has a lot of texture. It didn't turn out very big, but um, I think this would make a good scrubby, but it needs to be bigger. So I used this. This is, um, oh goodness, this was something I had left over from a cotton yarn. It's a brand I'm not familiar with, so uh, I, don't, I don't remember. I'll have to look that up, and I don't have the tag. In this stack of tags that I actually already put that tag up so I made this one but then I decided I wanted a bigger one so I combined the rest of this with some uh, this white which is just um, standard cotton you get at Walmart what is that called I know I have a tag somewhere I can't think of it at this moment. Peaches and cream. Yeah, it's just a white peaches and cream. So I combined them and made it thicker. used a bigger hook. I like this size better. Um, I also realized that this white had some stains on it for some reason. I don't know. So I definitely would be keeping this. But then I, I just wanted to use the rest of this blue yarn. So I, I went around to the white ran out. And then I went around with the blue. And then I made a hook so I could use all of it. So I wouldn't have any left over. So this might actually, this one might actually work as a pot holder or a lid grabber, good. Maybe even potentially a hot pad because it does have some thickness to it. So I just adjusted the pattern and used a double strand of yarn and it just came out bigger. So yeah, so those are all caught up. I do think they come out on Thursdays. I'll have a link below. Again, that's from the Underground Crafters Scrubby Along that they're hosting. Now I have two more hats that I've finished. Um, one is made with the Karen Pantone. Where's the little thing there? I had one of these I bought a while back. 
this one. Karen Panto, my phone's not focusing today. This colorway, does it have a colorway? Blushing Coral is the one. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I know they had taken them out and then they brought out some different ones. I really wish, whoosh, whoosh, I wish. I was going to make the, the hat that was on here. It has the little colored speckles in it. Maybe you can see that a little bit. I don't want to push the thing again. But there was barely any yarn left from this. Um, I didn't do a gauge swatch, but my tension is usually pretty average. So I just did the color colors. I didn't do the thing because you're most of the time when you do little bits like that, you'll carry the yarn, but there's no way you could have carried that yarn because there wasn't enough left to do that. So I didn't, I just did it this way. And this is just the hat pattern I got off the Karen, Karen's website or, or was it Yarn Inspiration that had this hat pattern? I don't know. It was specifically designed for a Karen Pantone, which in case you didn't know, it comes looped together and it has little balls of each color. Um, so this hat, I really don't like the way they did the thing, and I just need to start <laughs> making my adjustments to keep from having this honking seam in the back, this big old honking seam in the back. So now this, this yarn, it's very soft. It's nice yarn to work with. Um, I wish I would make these in cakes, this particular blend of yarn. I'm trying to find, it had like five different tags on it. Let's see. It's 60% acrylic, 20% nylon, and 20% merino wool. So it's, you know. Um, I thought about putting this in with the hats I was doing for the Phoebe Cancer Center, but they want 100% acrylic, I believe. So this will probably go to my hat donations for the high school that I plan on taking up there. Okay, so I have that one. And then I made this big chunky one. And I think this hat pattern was just a hat pattern they had for this yarn online brand. This is Hometown USA. Um, I'll show you what I did with the rest of the Hometown USA in a moment. Uh, Oklahoma City Green is what it was called. I had one skein of it. I'd gotten it on clearance at Walmart for $1.50 a while back. I had a bunch of different colors, just random colors. Um, it is 100% acrylic. And this is just the hat pattern they had on the line brand website for this particular because I needed something that would just use the one skein and that's what it did you can still see this whole <laughs> is that a string that I had no it's just not okay I thought I had wove in on my ends so this one will probably go to the high school as well I'm not sure that I want to put this one with the Phoebe Cancer Center it's a little, little bit heavy but, um, yeah. So there's the hats. Now I also made this cowl with some Mandela Thick and Quick and Pocket Watch is the color. Um, this is one I did, I, one of the yarns I reviewed in my, um, when I do the line brand reviews or the yarn reviews I did swatches on so this is a project I did it took two of two of them I had two of them because I think I originally purchased one and I realized I need two for a project it says you can make a hat with this on there but I don't know uh, most of the hat patterns I saw for this yarn required two so I don't know but this is a cowl it's very Stiff, as you can see I would think this would have to be folded like this this is what I would do if I, if I wore it because it it has to lay if I fold it in half it makes more sense now the pattern that I used I believe was from one dog wolf and it was supposed to be able to be looped but this is you can't loop this so I don't know if I think I did the whole pattern repeat. I don't know. Maybe it's just the thickness of the yarn. So it's very chunky. It would be great if you're somewhere super cold, you know, 
but uh, this will go in my bag of this is not something I probably would wear um, this yarn is it's a it's a number six bulky weight which I'm trying to see is this other one also yeah so is this yarn this hometown USA but this hometown USA is a lot softer even though it's a, I can't get back on my chair <laughs> it's a lot softer than this this is a denser yarn which makes it very uh, stiff it's not it's soft still but it's stiff um so yeah so I'll probably go with my bag of stuff I take around at Christmas if anybody wants which a lot of time my family doesn't want things like that because they live here with me and it's too hot for things like that so I mean wind up donating it to somewhere I don't know I was just trying to find something to do with the yarn because I had talked before that I had wound up this yarn to start working through things but I have another basket over there I've been kind of working through that had some single skein yarns in it so now this is my big finish my scrap my chunky scrap again which I love how it turned out I'm not gonna be able to see it all in here but I love how it turned out I actually doubled up the rest of the yarn left over from my knitted sweater and put that in here it didn't quite finish it out so I put these are all hometown USA scraps I had left over from my, my one of my other works in progress um, so yeah I used a lot this little bit right here is actually some of that yarn I had in that boutique yarn because I had some leftover projects that weren't for full skeins but uh, I really love the way this turned out it's super scrappy on this end gets a little solid in the middle and then more scrappy and this is perfect for uh, sitting in my thinking chair if I'm cold and covering up is this lapkin size so I decided to get that finished and finish using up a lot of scraps and leftovers from other projects so that is something that will be staying here with me so now let's go move on to the whips that I have going on with yarn stuff so I actually showed three whips in my podcast my monthly podcast I'll be doing um, I haven't started on any of those which was the making some more socks with my darn good yarn sock club starting the hat from willy nilly knits I haven't started that yet I still haven't ordered my DPMZ <laughs> I keep forgetting to do it um, and then this which I had said I'd show the pattern for the caterpillar I'm going to have to pop in a picture because I forgot to print it out so I'll put in a picture here somewhere um, so you can see this caterpillar pattern um, which is gonna be really fun so I haven't actually started any of those they're just in bags yet so far so I did start uh, this is in my bag I got from the dabbling hook uh, I started this shawl scarf thing it's a basic asymmetrical type shawl mostly double crochet with a little bit of the little spacing in it um, this is a pattern from darn good yarn and this is I don't know why my tag is not in here but I know this is dragon horde yarn uh, hand dyed yarn I can't I don't know the color because apparently my tag has disappeared somewhere I'll find it eventually but um this is something I got in a D stash from someone else a long time ago but it is dragon horde yarn and I don't know the colorway but it is a hand dyed yarn so that is something I started it's a good one for like in the evenings if I'm tired and I want to watch videos or what have you and just sit and crochet for a bit um Need something like that that's really repetitive and not something I gotta think about a lot, right? 
So I also started, originally I thought that one would use up two skeins of my hand-dyed yarn over here, but it, it's, it's not, it'll, I don't even know if it'll use up all of that one. So I started another one with this yarn I got. Now this one, I do have the tag in here. Crystal's hand-dyed is what this is. It's where I did her uh, Hogwarts Halloween club uh, Russian blue sock fingering weight so it's it's 85% superwash merino 15% nylon um, so this this is Hogwarts Halloween is what the colorway is you can see that it has the I love purple in with the Halloween colors not just the green and orange and black so um, so this is what I'm making with this, which kind of looks like a pair of underwear. <laughs> it's not a pair of underwear. It's a shawl. But uh, the shape of that is very odd right now. Um, this is a pattern from Zines and Rogers. I think it's called Holy Smokes or something like that. So it has this very dense part here. And then it gets into this more lacy effect. And then you go back to the dance. And in her pattern, she changed uh, colors. Um, I'm just going to use this. And then uh, it did come with a coordinating kind of solid. So I'll probably do this on the edge. Or maybe in the middle somewhere. Just where I think I fit it in. Because it's not... I don't want to get too far. Probably my next... Um, maybe my next... Lace, I haven't finished this repeat of this lacy effect, which is an interesting stitch, actually. I'm enjoying it. Um, this one is almost like a crunch stitch or a hollow kind of stitch thing. Uh, the, there's different versions of it. A crunch stitch, a lemon peel. It's called a bunch of different things. So, but yeah, I'm enjoying this one, actually, as well. I didn't think I was ever going to get finished with this portion here because it's so dense, but I love the effect with the yarn. I think it's really pretty. Um, so that's another one I can really kind of, once you get the repeat in the solid portion and the repeat in the lacy portion, you get, um, you can figure out, it's pretty easy to sit there and just keep going and not have to think about it too much. Um, so yeah, those are two that I started. I had already started these before I picked out these other three, but this is for the month, so it's not, it's not like uh, anything major. So I have been also last night I worked on my granny square, granny square, scrapkin, or um, which is very scrappy and very funky. But this is what I got going on so far. This is with worsted weight yarns, so. And I don't, I don't know how big I'm going to get with this. I think once I finish up the yarns I have in here, it'll be a decent size. And I may actually give this to my dog because he really likes, <laughs> my little one, he really likes crocheted blankets. So it would be a good one for him. So, and then my other whip I had talked about before was this Daya uh, Afghan that's going on over on Make and Do Crew, which I think they have, I think she has released the square part. I just haven't started on it. But I wanted to talk a bit more about the color and the yarn I'm using. Again, I'm using this Hometown USA. Uh, the orange is called Portsmouth Pumpkin. And I don't even know if some of this stuff's available anymore. Like I said, I got this from anywhere from $1.50 to $0.75 cent on clearance at Walmart. Uh, and this is Fayetteville Frost. Get a little red on it. And then this one is Washington Denim. So those are the colors I'm using. And in the pattern, she gives instructions for using a number four yarn and a number five yarn. But this is actually a number six. But I think it'll be fine. Like I said, I'm going to be doubling up the different colors of the... Uh, Red Heart Comfort Tweety 
yarns to uh, do the square portion. Um, I haven't started on that yet, but something else I wanted to point out. I misread the pattern. You can see that this is kind of misshapen and not as nice and round as this. Because I put too many of the puff stitches in this last round. And I had done two of them before I realized I wasn't supposed to be putting two in each stitch. Just two, one, two, one. But I decided to keep them because I didn't want to undo it. So we'll see how that goes. But it, that's why it looks so weird compared to this one, which looks nice and round and floofy. I have too many stitches in that last round. So it's just a three round repeat. So like I said, I did get two of these out of each skein of that. So if you have some laying around, it might be a fun one to do. You need 20 for the lapkin size, I'm pretty sure. I have 20, but I think mine will be a little bit bigger than the size she lists because I use a bigger weight yarn. So we'll see how that turns out. That'll be fun. Now, uh, I did want to go over... Actually, I think I'm going to end this video here and then do a separate video for the sewing portion because I was trying not to make these too long. We're at 26 minutes already. So, those are yarny whips and UFOs, which I'll have to correct in my title, but that'll be okay. And then I'm going to record a sewing whips and UFOs and yeah. You'll see them this week. Y'all remember to have a life lived creatively. I will have all the link links listed down below. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.